Thanks for stopping by our YouTube channel. In this next series of short videos, we'll take a dive into Service Mesh Hub. Service Mesh Hub is an open source project that you can find on GitHub that allows operators to manage multiple clusters of a service mesh installation. In the open source version, we allow you to manage multiple Istio clusters. Now, the main features of Service Mesh Hub include things like cluster registration, automatic service mesh discovery. We can federate the root trust domains of multiple meshes so that services can communicate with each other. Um, we're, we also provide a cluster aware API for managing things like access control policies and networking policies that seem like a single virtual mesh to the operator, but under the covers can be implemented as multiple different clusters. So let's get started. Again, you can go to GitHub and get the latest releases and follow along. You can come down here, find the docs, click on here to get the docs. On getting started, we can see how to install Service Mesh Hub and, uh, and, and there's docs in here to help you get, get going. So let's get going with our demo. We're going to first take a look at the discovery components of Service Mesh Hub. In the next video, we'll look at the identity federation and, and, and root trust domain federation. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna see that we have Istio installed, specifically Istio 1.5 on cluster one. We also have a separate installation of Istio installed onto cluster two. We also have the book info demo that we'll end up using here. Some components of it deployed on cluster one and some components of it deployed on cluster two, specifically the reviews service V1 and V2 is on cluster one. The V3 of reviews is on cluster two. So the first thing we're going to do is mesh CTL install, and that will install the components to service mesh hub. We'll give that a second to come along. Now, once those components are installed, let's actually take a look at those components, make sure they're running. It seems like they are. Next, what we want to do is check that the installation went successfully. And it looks like in this case, it has. Now that we have the Service Mesh Hub management plane installed, we can take a look at some of, the, some of these details. Now again, the management plane is in charge of managing the multiple different disparate Service Mesh control planes. So it's a management plane for these different control planes. So we can take a look at any of the clusters that we have, which we haven't registered any, so we don't have any, and therefore we don't have any meshes yet. That's fine. Let's register our clusters. We will start with cluster one. We'll give that a second. What this is doing is allowing the management plane to see cluster one and discover things inside of cluster one. It also installs a little agent that is responsible for generating private keys for, for Istio later, which we'll see in the second demo. And let's also register cluster two, which does the same thing. In this demo, the management plane happens to be running on cluster one, but it could be running separately. All right, now we see that our two clusters are registered. Now, if we look at our clusters, we see we have cluster one and cluster two. Now, if we query for meshes, we also see that we have two different meshes. So basically we registered the cluster, Service Mesh Hub went and queried the different clusters to see what is running on them. And in this case, it discovered two Istio clusters, one on cluster one, one on cluster two. The next thing it did was it discovered the different services 
running in each of those meshes. So we can see services running in cluster one as well as services running in cluster two. If we take a closer look at one of those one of those services that we've discovered, we can see information about how you know, the different subsets and versions, the location of them into which mesh it's registered and uh, specific details about the service itself. We can also see the different workloads. These map in Kubernetes terms to Kubernetes pods that are running inside of these two different meshes. Let's take a look at one of the workloads here and you can see we get some information, some detail about what mesh it's associated with and, uh, and, and so forth. So that is the first step to using Service Mesh Hub, which is connecting your clusters and allowing it to discover what mesh installations are available. In the next video, we'll take a look at federating these two disparate meshes and unifying their root trust domains. Check out the next video. Thanks.